go ahead and begin. You know, I wish people had a longer attention span so I could do videos like I used to, which was show buildups from the very beginning, like everything being dead, and I would show it being dead for a while. And then I would come in and then gradually watch build up the system. Watch. So we're going to gradually build it up. Can't do it like I used to because of the attention span, but... I can at least show a couple of seconds here that shows, look, nothing was happening. Now that I come into the, the field of view and the screen and I start interacting with my environment and nature, it begins to activate. Since we've started building up slow and getting it to here, it has not stopped. Okay, now watch this. Exact movements. Watch the sway of it. Moment. Do that. We're gonna do a little tiny comb overs and we're gonna bring in quite a bit of energy right over the top here just by doing that. We're at three minutes. We'll do just a little bit more. Getting this footage is important for a multitude of reasons. doing this I can pick and choose basically the precise uh, stuff that I want to present on YouTube see that look how quick and easy that is and then to reapply then to reapply Real skill is being able to stop and start things at will 
just like I just did. And to not have to worry that when um, someone watches what you're doing, that they have to discern what you're doing. When you're able to turn things on and off like that, okay? And then you're able to sit and play with nuances. You're able to project outward and then get maneuvers at the drop of a hat. It takes all of the question out of it as to whether or not you have control over your own energy signature. There is no random nature to this. Wind in itself can, it, you know, people think of it as random, okay? I mean, it has a, a design all in its own. But when you can interact with the elements, and when your uh, connection is so incredibly good, you take all that, uh, the random nature out of those movements. You can show people, look, on, off, right, left, push, pull, okay? You take the mystery out of it for them. When you're able to take specific moves like this and everything goes that exact direction, you're able to reverse that direction like that. You're able to push through like this. You take your fingers and you wave it and everything waves with the direction of your fingers like that. That helps to demystify the situation. Watch my hands. Here it comes. We're going to come this way. from zero all the way to a crescendo like this and then slow it back down and then flip it right back into it and start it up again that demystifies it for people a lot of people like the blasting stuff but and yes it does take skill to blast over and over and over again okay it really does it takes a lot of skill to be able to do that but Take a look. Notice how everything just quieted down right there when I was talking and didn't have my hand in the frame. Now watch. This, this is what means something. This is the magnetics that show that you have the capacity to interact with something and get controlled movements, okay? Things that aren't just blasting things over. As a matter of fact, learning how to do this sort of stuff is what gives you more control later on when you are blasting. Watch. Over the top, flutter. Okay, one second, other hand. Over the top again, Let flutter. See that? Skill. Any martial artist will tell you technique, to have technique is far better than to have power. But then when you're able to couple technique with uh, the idea of being able to project and to maximize your uh, energetic potential, then not only do you have that much more control when you actually use your ability to project, it is done in such a way 
that there is no erratic nature to it. It is 100% a uh, intended maneuver. Look at this. See that? So much more skill. waves see how it responds so these are things to really notice different techniques are going to bring different results now look waving it back and forth just like this see this just taking my energy, projecting it, and then moving it back and forth. And you get a whole different look to the way the energy moves and the way the energy operates. If I use my fingers like this, okay, watch. You don't get a big massive push. But what you do get is that as my fingers are moving like this, from left to right, right to left, this whole system will follow along with that. I'm going to go over the top. Watch this. Here it goes. Right over the top, just like that. Notice it goes exactly. It follows exactly where my hand is, okay? It's literally like combing over from the back to the front. Now, if a person were to watch this very carefully, you know, a lot of skeptics like to jump in and say, oh, he's just going with the natural movements and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But there is no way, no way that you can get these precise things like this and being able to, like I was showing you before, to come over the top like this, okay, and have these precise things happen where my hand traces all the way down. No way to be done. Now, look right here. I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to start tickling over the top of this and it's just going to start to bring everything over. Okay, see? Watch. Now. As I breathe again, you see it projecting. You see it pushing out, and it responds to every precise movement. 